To do a smaller foot, basically build your form um, out of a, a roll of clay, just similar in, a, in the way that we cut it out of the block of clay. And of course, if you're going to be firing any of these forms, you need to make sure that they are hollowed out or that you poke uh, multiple holes into them so that the drying process happens correctly and that when they are firing that the moisture is able to escape um, evenly in them. And again, we will simply cut the toes and then begin to sculpt those. You can think about the arch going into the heel, having your model out to look at or anatomical drawings from books or studies that you've done in a life drawing class um, would be very beneficial. So we'll just kind of sculpt this quickly using our hands and then we'll take our tool and make some patterns and definition with the tool. Just quickly kind of sketching the gesture of the foot and then coming back and thinking about the details, the anatomy, how much of that anatomy is important to you and then thinking about the attitude in which you want this form to be able to hold for your people. Just continue to work in this this way until you define the foot as much as you wanted. And it's always fun to hear someone comment about your piece and go, oh look at the toes. Then you know you've done something right. So there we have the foot. And I wouldn't do anything else to this until I was ready to attach it to the form get the weight set on it so that I could then come back and re-sculpt any part of it that may need to be redefined because the weight pushes down on the portion of the foot that may be a little narrower.